Yamaha has been in the portable power business for almost four decades. And just like their world-class motorsports and marine products, quality, performance, and innovation is built into every Yamaha generator and inverter. Still, there's a lot to choose from, isn't there? So how about we narrow the field down a bit? First, there's Honda. I'm sure you heard of them. And then you've got a whole slew of cheaply made products being sold by some well-known brand names that seem to offer a lot for the money. But when you look past the nameplates, none of them come near the quality or the quiet, clean, reliable performance that comes standard on every Yamaha. And if you need service, parts, or genuine accessories, you can count on Yamaha's nationwide dealer network. How many of these other brands can match that? Well, you could say one thing for them. They are cheaper in more ways than one. But when you need power, would you rather have saved a few bucks or have the peace of mind of knowing that your generator is gonna start when you need it? And that's the beauty of a Yamaha. You can depend on it to be there time after time for a long time. Prove it, you say? Well, why don't we let the EPA do that for us with its emission compliance period for every small internal combustion engine sold in the U.S. Every engine starts out at factory specs that meet strict EPA guidelines, but only those with the highest build quality will keep on running great over time. The Yamaha EF2000's 500-hour and extended ratings are the best you can get. Now look at the other guys. 125 hours? a quarter of the EPA certified time you get with a Yamaha. The Yamaha EF2000IS has a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $1,099. At 500 hours, that's only $2.20 per hour. Most others have an MSRP of $650 on average, yet rated at 125 hours. That's $5.20 per hour. So you might save a few bucks at the start but a Yamaha will cost you a lot less to own for the long haul. Now let's say you're a true skeptic, someone who doesn't even trust the EPA to get it right. Camping Life Magazine recently did a head-to-head -head shootout, comparing three of the most popular 2,000 watt generators. You want to guess who came out on top? You can read the whole article online. But keep watching and we'll show just a few reasons why Yamaha was the clear winner over Generac. And yes, over Honda. They've also been in the generator business a long time, just like Yamaha. But their popular EU2000IA is only EPA rated half as long as Yamaha's EF2000IS, even though it costs more. And when you compare per hour cost, the Honda could be twice as expensive to own. And that's just one of the ways that Yamaha's EF2000 comes out on top. It also runs longer in low output and high output situations for added convenience regardless of the load. When you're running a generator over time, you want to easily be able to see how much fuel you've got left. Here's how you do it with the Honda. First, you have to shut off the generator, pull out this filter, you may want a rag handy, and then visually check the fuel level. One of the most common generator problems is stale fuel in the carburetor. It can lead to both headaches and costly repairs if the unit's been idle for any period of time. On the Honda, the fuel petcock shutoff and power are on one switch. Convenient now, but good luck getting the Honda to start after it's been sitting unused for a while. Every Yamaha generator has a separate fuel petcock and on-off switch allowing you to burn the fuel out of the carburetor before storing the generator. You can't get this convenient feature on the Honda. Or a standard battery charging cord. You have to pay extra for that, despite an MSRP that's considerably higher. Now let's say you need a slightly larger model with more output to run an air conditioner and power tools. You can step up to Yamaha's EF2400 ISHC. Or one more notch, Yamaha EF2800i. Honda doesn't offer a comparable model to either of these Yamahas. You have to make the jump to a 3,000 watt unit or up to $1,000 more in cost. And they're still gonna hit you up for a set of battery cables. Go figure. And when you compare 3,000 watt models, 
Honda just keeps on nickel and diming, like more than a hundred bucks for a set of wheels. They come standard on every Yamaha EF3000. Then there are Yamaha innovations that Honda just can't match at any price, like an optional wireless remote for super convenient operation and patented boost technology that automatically converts battery voltage to deliver a power boost comparable to a 3500 watt generator for up to 10 seconds so you can run a 13,500 BTU air conditioner and a 1,000 watt microwave oven at the same time. You can't get that on any Honda. Whether you're at work or play, noise can be a big factor. With Yamaha, you're getting some of the quietest, cleanest power there is. More than five decibels quieter than Honda in many cases. It might not sound like a big deal until you hear it for yourself. Yes, there are lots of choices to be made when it comes to portable power, but if you want world-class quality and performance, bulletproof dependability, quiet, clean operation, and user-friendly convenience, the choice is clear. You've got to have a Yamaha.